Hi everyone, beautiful friends. It's Lisa from South Florida. How are you today? I was on my bike ride and it's just so beautiful. I've been riding around lakes and looking at the nature and the birds and the dragonflies and the butterflies. It's just so beautiful. So I was thinking, I was talking to my guides this morning and another message, it's pretty much repetitive to share that we have an amazing journey ahead of us now and going forward. And it's what is our choice of how to live in this beautiful world that we are in. Do we choose to live in the fear or do we choose to live in our sovereignty and create the life of our dreams? As most of you have noticed, dreams have been very, very vivid. You may be dreaming of people you went to high school with, people who have passed, things that really don't make sense to you, but it doesn't matter because that's helping us release a lot of this past dead karma and other situations to move us forward into having this life of sovereignty. Also, there may be some challenges, feeling stuck, and just know that we can create everything that we want. It's changing our perception and having appreciation and gratitude in the now moment of what the situation of is. is. So if you're upset with something or things aren't going right and you feel frustrated or stuck, look for appreciation in that moment and change the perception and you will see that that situation will shift. Also, we have um, such a great connection now with um, consciousness and if you're feeling lonely or not fitting in or not sure what to do, always go inward. Remember, go inward. The loneliness is not being connected with you, your soul. Learn how to re-love ourselves is, is a priority right now. Loving ourselves, <clears throat> getting in touch with who we are and our passions and our beliefs and our clarity. And it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or feels as long as we have the inner unconditional love for ourselves. I don't know if you can still see me. The phone's fading out a little bit. Um, yeah, so go inward and find the peace within. Find the peace within. Take a chance, and I made a post this morning about being brave with your life. You know, if I had a magic wand and I waved it and time and money were an issue, what would you be doing? Follow that passion, follow that joy, follow that peace, and you can always create an income doing what you love, doing your passion. You know, you don't have to go with what we were once told that you should be doing if you're not happy. You know, be grateful for the situation and then, you know, find joy in what you love to do because when that happens, that's not really work. You feel peaceful and grateful and you're giving service and you're giving back and you're coming from your heart and more things will start manifesting when you do that. Um, let me see, was there any else? Um, but, but, okay, so for me, my message is always slow and steady because I have so many things that I'm doing now. I have my, my health and wellness business, I have my LinkedIn coaching, I have my channeling, I have my chakra balancing, my blessings, my light language. So it's doing this all for whatever need comes up for the person. So feel free to reach out to me with all that. and like going back to the slow and steady is I want it all once. I want it, I mean, all at once, it's, that's my personality, but all we have is near, I mean now, all we have is here, and being present in this moment, which is so beautiful, having fun and joy in each moment. So I'm gonna bring in a couple light language codes just to bring that energy in for everybody. It is so beautiful here, let me just flip my camera. It's so peaceful where I am right now. Okay. Bring in some codes. Hi, Bring in your peace and your tranquility within. Bring in your unconditional love for self and everything will flow with grace and ease for you. Everybody have an amazing Sunday. Bye.